The brand new 7 star terror raid event featuring Greninja has just been announced. In today's video we are going to go over some of the best builds to help you prepare for this raid event so you can go into it and beat it easy in your game. But before we get into today's video please subscribe to the channel remember you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So although the Greninja event has just been announced and it is a little while away before it does go live, it's a good time for us now to have a look at some builds to get things prepared for when this event goes live. The event itself will be running from the 27th of January and running up until the 30th of January. So over that weekend, that will be the first time when it will be appearing. So Greninja we know is going to be level 100. It is going to be that 7 star raid, guaranteed level 100, 31 IVs across all of its stats so it's going to be a really strong Pokemon. It's potentially going to have the ability Protein. Now there are a lot of rumors at the minute about Battle Bond being the potential ability on it and uh, as much as I would love to see it being Battle Bond, I can't see it happening. If it is Battle Bond, it does change a lot because it makes these raids a lot more difficult because Battle Bond, every time you knock a Pokemon out, you're getting a boost in special attack and attack, making Greninja very, very dangerous. Though I do have one particular Pokemon that we can take into that raid that will help alleviate the issues with those boosts if battle bond is something but my opinion on it i don't think we're going to see battle bond i think it will be protein and protein worked a little bit like libero that we saw on the cinderace because greninja is going to be already in its terra form it's not really going to be able to change its type outside of that with the protein ability meaning it is a bit useless so we're not going to really need to worry about the ability there as i say battle bond may be a different story but i cannot see that being the ability on it it is a special event greninja only and it's never been in any other game so i I just can't see it happening. Greninja has got a high base speed stat. It is going to hit a speed stat of 377 if its EVs are maxed out and its speed and it does have that positive nature. So going to be something that's very fast. Be aware of that. It's Terra type going to be poison as well. So its main weaknesses are going to be psychic and ground. They're the two main things that you want to look at. Of course, it is going to be difficult to bring psychic types against Greninja because of the dark type attacks that it does have access to. And it will, although it's in its terrestrialized form still get the, the stab same type attack bonus on its dark type attack so it will be hitting very hard same goes for water even though it will be getting the poison stab on top of that but that's the beauty about terrestrialization now for greninja builds that we'll probably potentially see in this seven star raid i kind of see two different variations we're either going to get a pure physical greninja or we're going to get a mixed greninja so it's going to be pure physical attacks or we're going to get a mixture of those physical and special attacks because it does have a very good move pool now the options are up in the air obviously we don't know for certain now and we won't know until the event goes live but we can take a good guess at what options it will have gunk shot is going to be a really safe option for us to guess of an attack that it's gonna have. I think it will have it. It's its most powerful poison type attack, 120 base power, and it plays off that poison terror typing really nicely. It does have a little drawback. It is a bit shaky on the accuracy side, only 80% accurate, so it will miss from time to time. I think it's gonna have water shuriken. This plays into this physical set, night slash as well for that dark stab attack that it's gonna have. It does get options of fighting type attacks as well. Low kick, low sweep, brick break are options on there as well for Greninja does get access to priority ghost type attack through shadow sneak so something to consider I guess liquidation is its big water type attack and physical attack it gets waterfall as well but liquidation probably going to be the more optimal player there and then it gets ice punch as well for that ice coverage and trailblaze which is something that we do need to be very wary of going into this rage which is a grass type attack that can do some damage to potentially some of the Pokemon that we'll be bringing into this this raid now for setup options greninja doesn't really have too many options in regards to the setup department the only thing that it does have if it is a physical greninja that we'd need to really watch out for would be that swords dance we saw in the cinderace raid it did use bulk up as a way of boosting its attack and its defense stats and it got that off turn one before any attacks went onto the field now sword stance could be the similar option that greninja uses 
either in that pure physical set or the mix set that we potentially are theorizing here. Rain Dance is another option as well to boost its water type attacks. But generally speaking, I think a pure physical Greninja with Gunk Shot, Water Shuriken, Night Slash, and something like Liquidation or the Ice Punch, and then coverage moves of something like Rain Dance and maybe Low Sweep, Low Kick could be options on there. Of course, you can't discount that it does get access to Acrobatics and Bounce, two flying type attack moves but really are you going to be bringing grass types into this terror raid event anyway i don't think so so something we don't really need to consider too much now for the mixed greninja i feel like this could be more likely to happen where we are going to see a mixture of both its good physical and special type attacks so this is what i would imagine us to see but i, I could be completely wrong i don't really see greninja going down a pure special base route because it doesn't really get a poison special type attack that it's really going to be able to take advantage of and it's going to rely re way more heavily on Terra Blast, which is not its most optimal option so i can't really see on that basis it being a pure special type greninja now the move options again if it is going to be mixed you're going to get gunk shot i would imagine water shuriken a signature move as well maybe dog pulse over night slash you're going to get low kick low brick break the fighting type attacks are all going to be physical anyway but there are other options in regards to ice type attacks ice beam blizzard going to be really annoying to deal with especially coming off greninja's good special attack stat trailblaze grass knot are the two grass type options that you've got on there and then the water type options hydro pump going to be a lot more powerful especially if it's coming off a special type attack and chilling water as well as another option that can cause a burn as well as that terror blast that it would have to rely on again the support options for the mixed one don't really change but we'll probably see something like sword stance if it is going to try and boost anything and then rain dance which does boost those water types type attack so these are predominantly what i would imagine either of the greninjas looking like and they're the move options so anything in here could be possible although i would say gunk shot and maybe water shuriken in a dark type attack either that night slash or dark pulse are probably going to be the kind of staples on these greninja sets because they cover the bases for what pokemon or game freak would expect you to bring against a terra poison type greninja you know and then the dark type attacks make it difficult uh, and the water type attacks do make it difficult as well and that's why i think ice is maybe an option as well because ground types are weak to ice so i would imagine we probably will see ice type attacks on there whether that be in the form of ice beam blizzard or ice punch depending on the build of the greninja so getting into game we are going to have a look at some options that i've put together now i think we're going to start with probably one that everyone's talking about and i think probably the best option going into greninja the only thing i would say you're going to have to watch out for if you are bringing some Something like Claude Sire is going to be extrasensory, which is a psychic type attack that Greninja does have in its move pool. That will be able to hit us for super effective damage, but outside of that, Claude Sire is going to be an amazing Pokemon to bring into this raid. Now, there are two builds that I'll go through here. There is this first one, and then I do have a second build. So there are two options for Claude Sire, but this is preferably the one I like to choose. So we've got the COVID Cloak on there. That's just going to stop any secondary type effect, especially if we are going to be getting hit with Dark Pulse. We don't want to be flinched by that, so that will stop that. And also, if we do Terrastalize, it means that we can't get poisoned by any of the potential poison type attacks that it does throw out, even though we're a base type of poison. Uh, so Cover Cloak, I feel like the best item choice on Clodsire. Obviously, if you are building your own, you're more than welcome to have your opinion on what you feel is better. We are going with a ground terror type as well, just to take advantage of the ground type attacks when we do terrestrialize and a move set of Recover, Stockpile, Acid Spray, and Earth Power. Now, Recover, Stockpile, and Acid Spray are all egg moves. You're gonna have to get a Mirror Herb item and then get some Pokemon that know these moves and then set up a picnic so it can learn them. But this move set, I feel, is probably the most optimal. You're gonna have Recover for longevity, staying on the field as long as possible. Stockpile is gonna boost your defense and your special defense. So it's gonna mean that you're gonna be able to stay on the field for a lot longer take attacks a lot better acid spray is an amazing move for supporting partnering pokemon as well as kind of setting yourself up as well by reducing the special defense on greninja by two stages every time and it works through the shield when it is set up because it is an attacking move so really useful there and then earth power is your main attacking option you might want to pp max that out because the one drawback with clodsire if you are going down a special route especially with it 
is that it does have absolutely garbage special attack. So we have put some special attack investment in this Claude Sire uh, to give it a bit more of a chance, but the acid spray drops should help out with that and allow you to do a bunch of damage. Now Greninja isn't known to be one of the most bulky Pokemon, so you shouldn't have too hard a job against it, especially after you terrestrialize. Now you are gonna resist the poison type attacks from Greninja because of your part poison and ground typing. You're also got the uh, ability water absorb, so none of those water type attacks are going to be able to affect you so you're only really worrying about the dark type attacks and like i say with the stockpiles under your belt you're not really going to have to worry too much so we give the clod sire a modest nature as well and then the ev spread we've got max hp 252 evs in hp we've got 76 in defense we've got 176 in special attack and then we have four in special defense because it has a pretty good special defense stat anyway so that is the ev spread it'll be on the screen for you now if you want to copy this exact clod side that i've put together but this is overall with the covert clock with the modest nature with that ev spread terra type ground and then the move set like we've went over as well it will work super well as a support option and probably something that we'd be able to take in and go solo the only thing like i say to watch out for is that extra sensory that greninja could have and even then it's probably not going to be too much of an issue if you get a couple of stockpiles up in the first place next up is going to be one of my favorite ones it's not quite as strong as the clod side but it gives you a bit more offensive pressure and that is just going to be quagsire so quagsire the water and ground type not got that poison type in it is still going to resist the poison type attacks because ground does resist poison and you're still going to have that water absorbability so meaning that you're immune to any of the water type attacks and if greninja does fire a water type attack into you it is meaning that you're going to be able to get your health back so it's a nice form of recovery as well uh ground terror typing on this quagsire and covered clock again just for the same reasons but it's a little bit more important on the quagsire because you can be prone to be poisoned by the greninja and you kind of want to avoid that if possible uh, we have got a modest nature on this quagsire again the ev spread on this one is going to be 252 hp we've maxed that out we've got four in defense we've got 132 in special attack and then 116 in special defense with a modest nature again this exact same move set as the cloth sire and the the reason for this move set is basically uh, to give you an option if the extra sentry is a problem on the clod sire and it is causing a few issues if it is an option there with the greninja then quagsire could be an alternative option that you could kind of lean on that doesn't have that psychic weakness that the clod sire does the big thing that quagsire is going to have to watch out for is if trailblaze or grass nut are options on greninja if that is something that you're going to see this probably discounts quagsire from being used at all because that four times weakness means that it's going to make it very difficult and you're going to drop very quickly if the Greninja has got access to that. But otherwise, it's a pretty good option. I feel like generally it's got a bit better bulk on its defense and its special defense. Uh, a bit better, not as good HP, of course, but a bit better special attack as well. So you're going to be able to hit a little bit harder, but primarily running a lot like the Clod side, just different weaknesses there. And um, yeah, so modest nature, like I say, the covered clock and all of those details there. The next option that we're going to have a look at is Gastrodon. And Gastrodon would be here, really. I mentioned a bit earlier. If Battle Bond is the ability, I think Gastrodon is the Pokemon that you're going to want to bring in against this particular Greninja because you're going to want to reduce or get rid of those attack boosts if it is getting them especially if you're doing solo raids the Greninja is going to be picking off your partner and Pokemon and getting that battle bomb boost every one or two turns which is not something you want to be dealing with now Gastrodon ground and water has the ability storm drain so it will suck in any sort of water type attacks from the Greninja unless it's got surf which I doubt it will have it's going to have a single target attack water type move which will protect the rest of the party which is really nice and give you a special attack boost at the same time Time. covered clock for the same reasons we don't want to deal with any poison or any flinches or anything like that from dog pulse and other poison type attacks and we have a modest nature we've just went with 252 hp and then 252 special attack should be on there with full defense um and moveset we're going with recover clear smog stockpile and earth pile 
So the clear smog is an attack where when it hits an opponent, it removes all of their stat boost or all of their stat changes, which is really good. It can be a bit of a drawback if you are playing something like Acid Spray because you will get removed those special defense drops, but you will be predominantly concentrating on any boost that the Greninja gets and removing those with the clear smog. Will hit through the screen as well because it is an attacking move. So you're going to be able to remove any kind of stat boosts to the Greninja at any time. And I feel like this as a supporting option, especially online, could be a really good Pokemon to bring to help your friends out if you're joining raids and things like that. Earth Power, self-explanatory, going to be a really good stab attacking move against Greninja, going to hit it for good damage. Stockpile gives you the defense that you need. Recover gives you the longevity to stay on the field. And Clear Smog just means you're going to be able to disrupt the Greninja throughout the match. Storm Drain, the ability, like I say, we've explained that. Modest Nature, EV Spread, and that is the Gastrodons. And just another option for Gastrodon as well. It doesn't need to be just as passive as this one, but we can go down a more physical build, obviously utilizing the move Curse. We've got the move set Curse, Clear Smog, Recover, or Amnesia, whichever one you prefer. I think if you go Amnesia, you're gonna need the Shell Bell or Recover item on the Gastrodon. If not, you can then rely on the Covered Clock and then Earthquake as its main attacking option. Again, you're gonna have to be very careful around any grass type attacks that Greninja has. If that is an option in Greninja, Gastrodon really falls out of favor a little bit. Storm Drain, the ability there, Adamant Nature, level 100, Ground Terror type on it, and then EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack, and then four special defense on this Gastrodon. So just an alternative way if you want to play it, a bit more offensive, it can still support team members and things like that, but it just gives you a different mod to play if you don't want to go down the special route where you can't really boost your own special attack unless you've got partnering Pokemon that can use Surf and then boost it for you with that Storm Drain ability. So Gastrodon, I feel a really good option if you want more of a supporting Pokemon to go online with friends and things like that. But if I was to pick one, from the start, it's gonna be that Clod Sire. And I think, although the special attacking one might not be the more optimal one, I, I do like it because it plays off being a supportive Pokemon as well as kind of boosting your own attack stat up. Now, the other Clod Sire build that we do have is gonna be more of a physical build. I'll pull it up on the screen now for you. The Clod Sire gonna have the water absorb ability. Again, need to have that ability for the immunity to water type attacks. Gonna have the adamant nature on this one and a ground terror typing with the EV spread of 252 HP. 252 attack and four special defense now the move set for this clod side is going to rely a little bit more on setup you're going to use curse to boost your attack and your defense you're going to use stockpile to give you a boost in special defense now you could go amnesia there so you get a solely special defensive boost but uh i don't know if it's really that necessary because it will depend on what moves the greninja has and what build it is if it's physical then it's really pointless going for amnesia because it's not going to be using any special type attack so it will depend on the build of the Greninja of course then we've got Recover and then Earthquake which plays off that curse because you're boosting your attack stat um, and the speed drops that you get from curse don't really matter because you're never outspeeding the Greninja anyway so better physical attack on this Clod Sire than it does have special attack so you're getting a bit more out uh, offensively with the Earthquake than you are going to get with Earth Power. Um, resists the Poison Stabs, Water Absorb and gives it the immunity to water attacks. Um, but again, you just need to be a little bit wary of extra sensory. But Stockpile helps you get around that as well. So that is the other Clod Sire build that we've got. And the last one for today is going to be Garchomp. Again, there is a big caveat on the Garchomp and bringing this into this Terror Raid because of the threat of Ice type attacks. Now, if Greninja's got Ice Ice Beam, Blizzard, or Ice Punch. I don't think Garchomp's going to be an option here going into this raid at all. But if it doesn't have any Ice type attacks, then I think Garchomp then becomes a really good option coming into these raids. Now, it doesn't get too many good supporting options, but this is the best set that I kind of picked out from Garchomp's move pool. I think Swords Dance is an obvious option for boosting your attack two stages every time you use it. Sunny Day is a nice option to reduce the damage from water type attacks because you are part dragon you are going to take neutral damage from the, the water type attack so you will still take good damage but you're going to be neutral too you're not taking super effective damage sunny day definitely helps out with that and reduce the damage of those water type attacks so that's quite a nice option and then we've got earthquakes going to be the main kind of attacking option on uh, garchomp once you've got the sword stances up and then you can have 
Bulldoors reduce the speed on the Greninja if you want. Uh, it supports your partnering Pokemon or Dragon Claw. There's a bunch of options that you could use for that third slot, like Substitute could be an option there. You could even go with maybe a Lumberry on the Garchomp if you're worried about like burns from chilling water and then go rest in that slot so you've got a way of recovering once you've set up your Swords Dance. This is a bunch of options like I say but this probably is just an example of what you can use. Primarily you're going to be using Swords Dance Sunny Day and Earthquake though for this particular raid. Rough Skin going to be the ability on there. We'll take advantage of any sort of physical contact moves. Adamant Nature, uh, you're not going to outspeed it with Jolly so you may as well maximize your attacking output. you got level 100. Terra type going to be ground makes sense and then 252 hp 252 attack for special defense uh, and like i say neutral from water attack sunny day helps mitigate this needs to be cautious of ice attacks and needs support storm drain would be very good of course uh light screen reflect partners would be appreciated i think for this god chomp but again it is a caveat if there's ice type attacks on this greninja which i expect there will be i don't think god chomp's going to be an option which would lead me back to the clod sire here and i think clod sire Either the special that we've covered here on the video or the physical type one are going to be the best options. But of course, these are just initial ideas. Once the raid does drop, we will be able to really hone in everything that we know and maximize the build for going into these raids and get something out as quick as possible to get through these raids the best you can. And uh, this is the place for it. And we will put something out on the night of the event going live once we've been able to go in and have a few goals at the raid to make sure that we we know what we're facing and we can maximize all of our options. So going into these raids will be something you'll be able to do easily solo in your game. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of that content when it does drop. But I would love to hear your opinions. What do you think the best options are going to be going in against this Greninja? It is early days still. We've got plenty of time to think about it before the event drops. But I wanted to put up a video as soon as possible to give you some ideas, to give you a little bit of time to get prepared for this raid event when it does drop. Because I think out of all of them it might be the hardest one so far but i do think we might be overestimating how difficult this will be greninja is not the best pokemon defensively it is a good offensive pokemon but the fact that it doesn't really have too much setup makes it a little bit easier to deal with thank you for tuning in friends please drop a like on the video if it has been useful and subscribe like i say not to miss any more content on preparation for terror raids and raids in general so thank you for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will catch you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye